Guys, this is Tim with Moab Fighting Concepts. Here with Jeremy Neal, uh, one of the longtime fighters that trained with uh, Moab Fighting Concepts and Independent McDonough. Today we're gonna go over concepts. You can see Jeremy is quite a bit taller than me, and uh, this this creates a problem for a lot of shorter fighters. The the number one way to uh, to fight a taller fighter or the fighter with more reach is to focus on, uh, of course, the distance and how we uh, and how we close that. If I'm going to try to close it as a wrestler. What I want to do, if me and, uh, me and Jeremy are fighting, as you can see, stretch your arms out. He's way longer than I am. I mean, he's got me by like six inches, probably a little longer. So what I'm going to do, I either have to make him respect my punches by punching at him and forcing him to block, and then I'm going to drop and penetrate for a takedown. That is the harder way because of the distance I have to gather. So what I like to do is when I'm fighting a taller guy, I like to say just out of his reach, and when he comes in to hit me, he has to close the distance to get range. The hardest part of fighting a taller fighter is closing the distance. So when he comes in, I'm dropping. And me dropping, he's already closed the distance and the hardest part is already took over. And it allows me to penetrate for a, uh, for a double leg takedown or any type of body lock. As far as punching a big fighter, a taller fighter, I've either got to make him react to one of my punches here. Good, right here, he reacted trying to stop this jab. So what I'll do here is I step, if you can see this leg, when he steps the block, I'm stepping in and over and throwing bigger shots over the top to try to clear the distance. The number one way I still like to hit him, when he throws his jab, this is when he's dangerous. I can't hit him from here. So what I'm gonna do is as he steps in with his jab, I'm gonna clear it. He closes the distance, I close the distance, and it gives me opportunities to strike. So what we're gonna do is go from number one, from the takedown, or from the takedown. I'm gonna fire at him, he's gonna defend. I drop, and I clinch for the takedown. Now, he's gonna attack me, drop, clinch for the takedown. So it's really important, the distance closing. So as far as fighting him, I'm gonna make him react to my jab. I'm gonna step out and in, drop, hands up, chin down, elbows in tight. Overhand for a big shot. If he's trying to attack me, he steps in with a jab. He's closing the distance. I avoid the jab and I fire a combination. So what I'm trying to get across, the most important part of this is closing the distance. If you can close the distance on a taller fighter, you take away his advantage. Have a great day.